Good morning. You join us here today at Colton Lake near Norwich in Norfolk. Um, this is an old irrigation reservoir, um, still used to water the fields and surrounding farms. Um, it's home to some very, very large carp. Um, they're very old, they're very wise. Um, been caught quite a lot over the years, so they're very hard to catch now. Um, today there's high pressure, it's just warmed up. Um, so we're going to target them across the far side today in the shallow water on the method feeder. Um, it's probably a 35, 40 metre chuck. I probably will ping some pellets down the middle as well so we can have a drop on that now and again. Um, and maybe the margins or shallow could work but I really fancy the method feeder today. Um, so we'll have a play on that, we'll have a play with pellets, with ground bait, with various hook baits. Um, take you through the process of what I'm thinking about, why I'm changing, what we're trying and hopefully find out what's best on the day. Right, sounds obvious but bait is the most important thing for a day's method feeder fishing. It's quite simple, you've got ground bait, you've got pellets. Here's Barford fishery pellets. So we've got a bag of micro pellets there and I've got some ground bait here. Ground bait's already mixed, no need to be too fussy with it, mix it, riddle it. You can manage that as the day goes on. So pellets, I like to completely soak, give them a stir around. Literally that quickly, I'll get the excess water off. What I don't want to do is get them absolutely perfect now. I could soak these load of pellets for a lot longer, get them absolutely spot on now, but then as the day goes on, they'll deteriorate and I'll be in trouble. So soak them, put them in a bowl, give them a good sp spread round, let the air get to them all. What I'll do now, my ground bait's a little bit on the dry side, my pellets will be a little bit on the dry side. So what I'll do is just, as the day goes on, I'll take a few pellets, I'll take a bit of ground bait, and I'll just keep on top of those as I go, as in dampen them, give them a stir around with a wet hand. You can't do all your bait for a day session at the start. You've got to just get it ready, and then as the day goes on, just maintain it bit by bit keep it absolutely spot on as you go. It'll only need a little damp and a little stir through, wet your hand, whiz it through. Um, and then, so you can have perfect pellets, perfect ground bait. You can fish just pellets, you can fish just ground bait, you can combine the two. But by doing it as you go, you can experiment and do things. You haven't just got a tub of pellets with some ground bait mixed in. You've got a couple of pots on the go and you can just experiment as you go on. Same with hook baits, got a bag of assorted hard pellets here, six mils, eight mils, red ones, pink ones, normal ones, scrattins, coppins. Have a play with them as the day go. And similarly, got a bag of various wafters and washters. Um, just have a play as the day goes on. So keep your pellets spread in a bowl. Let the air get to them and manage them as you go. Keep your ground bait in a bowl that you can cover up to maintain that. Basically, just experiment as you go. So first cast, um, just a quick run through the gear I'm using 11 foot Horizon Pro commercial feeder. Um, I've only fishing a 3000 size reel, it's not a big chuck, it's just with the 11 foot rod, it's just a nice comfortable chuck um, with our large 30 gram method feeder. I'm fishing a pre-tied MXC4, um, 16, size 16 to 018 hook length, just drop my disgorger. Um, the pre-tied hook lengths are, are, are brilliant. I'm now using all the MXC range. It saves me hours every week tying hooks. They're totally, totally reliable. Total confidence in them. Um, started on a mixture of micros with a little sprinkling of ground bait in it and a hard six mil on the hook. Chucking, oh well, first chuck. I've chucked about a metre off the far bank where from experience, the water level's a couple of foot down. It's very low. They've obviously been pumping it out onto the field. So I'm guessing I'm chucking into about two foot of water a metre short. 
if I get line bites, I'll drop back down. It's a gradual slope, probably six metres from the far bank is full depth, which is about, probably with the levels like they are, about eight foot deep. Um, so if I'm getting liners and signs, I'll gradually come back. If I'm getting no signs, then I will go really tight into probably around a foot of water, maybe even a little bit less with how low it is. Right, so just attached to another large carp. Um, both fish have come as I've gone really tight to the far side, where with the water level being so low, I honestly didn't think I'd catch there. I thought the fish would be slightly further down the shelf. Um, but no, virtually touching the far bank. And it's gone round twice in two chucks now. Uh, just a six mil pellet on the hook. There's obviously a lot of fish over there because the water's coloured up now. I can see that from here. So I reckon I'm probably only chucking into, I don't know, 10 inches of water. But that seems to be where they're happiest. So hopefully we'll carry on catching a few there. Terrible bit of netting that was. <laughs> Should have had him first go. Oh, that was a terrible bit of netting. It's a deep, cold, clear water. They're fighting so hard. Very, very angry fish. If I'd have got him first go, this would all be over now. He's having second wind. This is actually a small fish for this lake. There we go. What I'm probably going to do now we're catching, I might just put a smaller hook's gone through the net and into my hand. I might think about scaling down to a smaller feeder in a minute. Um, I'll have a couple more chucks on this one and then we'll see what we do. So I mentioned at the beginning about managing your bait and not getting it all ready at the start. So what's happened now is it's quite a muggy hot day today. My original mix, I've nearly used it all anyway, but it's just gone a bit soft and a bit nasty. So what I'm doing now is just knocking up my second batch. So still not all my bait. Um, so pellets, just a dusting of ground bait. Um, obviously this has dried out since I've done the original mix. Um, so now I'll add a bit more water to that, give it a stir, and we'll be good to go again. Obviously, if I'd done it all at the start, wet and ready to go, it would all now be rubbish, and I literally would have to start again. This obviously needs water to go to it, but because it's dry, I can now add a little bit of water, and that'll be spot on for maybe, I don't know, another hour and a half, I think, the first lot, and we've then got another batch ready for the rest of the session. So yeah, just manage your bait as you go, basically. Ooh. He's on. Right, just playing what I think is gonna be the last fish of the day. 
Um, it's not been fast and furious, which we never expected it to be here. We just had a nice day, steady day catching big carp. Um, it's actually probably the smallest one of the day to finish on. Um, I hope you've enjoyed a few hints and tips that we've given you and it helps you catch a few more fish. I think the main thing is to keep experimenting. So last one of the day and we'll have a look at what I've caught. Right, so a quick run through today's session. Um, basically I've started on the large Aldo method feeder, 30 grammer, um, get a bit of food in, get plenty of bait around it. Once we've got a few fish in the swim, I've then changed over to the small one. Just, I don't, I need enough bait to attract the fish in, but then once the fish are there, just my nice little small, neat, compact pile is what you're then looking for. So they pinpoint your bait straight away. As we mentioned earlier, I've had a play around. I've fished with neat pellets, neat ground bait, and there wasn't a great deal of difference between the two, to be honest. So in the end, I've opted for a 50-50 mix of ground bait and pellets um, because they didn't seem to prefer one to the other on the day. Best hook bait has definitely been a six mil red pellet. I've tried all various pellets and wafters and the six mil. I think I've caught every fish on a six mil red pellet. Um, so that shows to play around with your baits because on a particular, not always, but on any particular day, one could be better than another. Um, I've ended up working my way up the shelf. I, I thought they'd be a bit away from the bank because of the clarity of the water and how shallow it is over there. But they've actually gone right against the bank into literally eight to 10 inches of water. So that's something else to think about as well. If, if literally, if I don't clip the far bank, I don't get a bite. So don't be fishing a metre off the bank and think, oh, there's nothing there. There could be, but they could be even further up the shelf. So just a bit of concentration, work on your accuracy, um, play around, experiment with things, and hopefully you catch a few. Right, my task today was to set out and catch some big fish on a method feeder. Um, it was hard work, but we did. I'm out of breath lifting the net out. Um, had eight or nine fish in total. Here's three of the bigger ones. Um, the big ghost is probably approaching 15 pound. Um, so yeah, it's a hard but successful day.